This year's winner of the Agricultural Communications Proficiency Award is Blake Chance from the Royal Valley FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Farmer Magazine. Blake's SAE involves managing social media accounts, primarily one dedicated to content related to International Harvester. Blake worked to make connections across social media to grow his following and now collects photos from around the world to showcase to his over 20,000 followers. After graduation, Blake hopes to attend Kansas State University to study agribusiness and agricultural communications. Blake is the son of DJ and Christy Chance, and his advisor is Kim Clark. Congratulations, Blake! This year's winner of the Agricultural Education Proficiency Award is Alexa McCurdy from the West Franklin FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the Larry Gosen family and the Harmon Bliss family. For her SAE, Alexa dedicates her time to teaching youth about agriculture. Through events with her FFA Chapter and 4-H Club, Alexa has helped provide hands-on learning and has gained valuable experience in organizing and facilitating lessons and events. After graduation, Alexa plans to attend the University of Kansas to receive a degree in biology, then continue on to medical school. Alexa is the daughter of Ryan and Audra McCurdy. Her advisor is Tim Kilgore. Way to go, Alexa! This year's winner of the Agricultural Mechanics Design and Fabrication Proficiency Award is Braden Carlgren from the Pike Valley FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Abilene Machine. Braden's SAE consists of designing and fabricating various projects, many of which he uses on the family farm, including projects like portable mineral feeders, trailers, and irrigation sheds. He has learned to be resourceful and efficient when creating his projects and has helped his family's operation in the process. After high school, Braden will attend Kansas State Polytechnic to major in mechanical engineering technology. Braden is the son of Ryan and Lori Carlgren. His advisor is Katie Carlgren. Well done, Braden. This year's winner of the Agricultural Mechanics Repair and Maintenance Placement Proficiency Award is Jacob Hinman from the Paola FFA chapter. This award is sponsored by Can Equip. What started off as a love of working on vehicles and farm equipment evolved into Jacob's SAE, working for his father at Hinman Farms. Jacob continuously develops his welding skills and as a result took on more and more work. His SAE not only helped him with his organization and project management skills, but has helped him find a lifelong pursuit. After high school, Jacob plans to attend the Missouri Welding Institute. Jacob is the son of John and Rebecca Henman. His advisors are John Menifee and Randy Ernest. Let's give Jacob a round of applause. This year's winner of the Agricultural Processing Proficiency Award is Riley Sorrell from the Labette County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by City Barbecue. Riley works at Bartlett Co-op, performing and assisting with many of the business's daily duties. From helping sow and stack bags of feed to filling up trucks using the feed bins, he has learned the importance of teamwork, efficiency, and attention to detail. Riley hopes to continue gaining knowledge and experience so he can improve in his work and personal life. Riley is the son of Perry and Jessica Sorrell. His advisors are Dustin Wiley, Kyle Wallen, and Jeff Falkenstein. Congratulations, Riley! This year's winner of the Agricultural Sales Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award is Bailey Hill from the Mission Valley FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Central Valley Ag. Bailey operates Diamond H Beads, making custom beaded horse tech. Starting with the purchase of a beading loom and a few beads, she has expanded her operation to include multiple product designs and two social media accounts for her business. Bailey currently attends Kansas State University pursuing a degree in agricultural communications. Bailey is the daughter of Brent and Marlene Hiddle. Her advisors are John Bergen and Kelly Holton. Great job, Bailey.
This year's winner of the Agricultural Sales Placement Proficiency Award is Ryan Stewart from the Washington County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Grain Sorghum Commission. Ryan works for his parent seed company, is a sales rep and auctioneer for Open Range Sales Company, and serves as a manager for Sunflower Sales, LLC. He uses his knowledge of marketing, crops, and new ag technology to offer a variety of services and find new business opportunities. In addition, Ryan also works on his family farm, assisting with the diversified ag business. Ryan is the son of Rodney and Kinnett Stewart. His advisor is John Kern. Way to go, Ryan! This year's winner of the Agricultural Services Proficiency Award is Maddie Toman from the Paola FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Farm Credit Associations of Kansas. Maddie operates an Instagram account promoting the equine industry. Starting as a way to share photos of her horses, Maddie has grown her business to include promotions of different equine products and brands and gained experience with marketing and time management. After graduation, Maddie plans to attend Kansas State University to major in elementary education. Maddie is the daughter of Christian and Keeley Tobin. Her advisors are John Menifee and Randy Ernest. Let's give Maddie a round of applause. This year's winner of the AgriScience Research Animal Systems Proficiency Award is Delaney Rapp from the Rural Vista FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Friends of the Kansas FFA. Delaney's SAE consists of raising broiler chickens and testing feed-to-gain ratios using various feed supplements. She has also developed a marketing plan for the birds, with proceeds helping purchase FFA jackets for members of her chapter. Delaney hopes to take the knowledge and skills she has gained through her research and apply them to other projects during her time in the FFA. Delaney is the daughter of Darren and Courtney Rapp. Her advisor is Crystal Carson. Great job, Delaney. This year's winner of the AgriScience Research Plant Systems Proficiency Award is Alexandria Nickel from the Gossel FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by DuPont Pioneer. For her SAE, Alexandria studied the results of a root treatment on 95 acres of Everest winter wheat. Partnering with MKC to conduct the trials, Alexandria tested for root mass gain and yield gain compared to untreated wheat. She will use the success of her experiment to conduct further research and after graduating high school, hopes to study pre-med or biology. Alexandria is the daughter of Darcy and Keila Nickel. Her advisor is Alicia Ord. Congratulations, Alexandria. This year's winner of the Beef Production Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award is Kaylee Gum from the Riverton FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Triangle H. From a young age, Kaylee fell in love with cattle showmanship. Now as an FFA member, Kaylee helps raise cattle on her family farm, which consists of market steers and show heifers. She performs many of the daily duties and has taken classes to learn more about AI and pregnancy checking. After graduation, Kaylee will be attending Connors State College to compete on the showmanship team. Kaylee is the daughter of Trevor and Pam Gum. Her advisor is Jacob Blairson. Let's give Kaylee a round of applause. This year's winner of the Beef Production Placement Proficiency Award is Jordan Beely from the South Central FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Tiffany Cattle Company. Jordan works at Parker Beely LLC, her family's ranch. Her daily tasks include feeding, watering, and maintenance of equipment and fencing. The experience gained in her SAE allowed Jordan to better advocate for the beef industry and have inspired her to help students look for similar opportunities. After graduation, Jordan plans to attend Kansas State University and major in agricultural education. Jordan is the daughter of Roy and Sarah Beely. Her advisor is Lacey Jacobs. Congratulations, Jordan.
This year's winner of the Dairy Production Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award is Anna Pachta from the Republic County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Dairy. Anna began her SAE by purchasing two bred Holstein heifers. Her operation has expanded to include three cows, ten calves, and five nurse cows that she manages for her family. Over the course of her SAE, Anna has learned a lot about dairy production, livestock health, and effective time management, and one day hopes to become a livestock nutritionist. Anna is the daughter of Gary and Jenny Pachta. Her advisors are Jed Sternad and David Graham. Way to go, Anna. This year's winner of the Dairy Production Placement Proficiency Award is John Aachen from the Ulysses FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Dairy. John works for Lakin Dairy, where he is the manager of the heifer yard. There, he helps raise 12,000 young stock for dairy farms across the Midwest. Working with both cattle and customers, John has gained experience in nutrition, business management, and customer service. After high school, He's considering a career in dairy cattle nutrition. John is the son of Craig and Cindy Aachen. His advisor is Kelsey Peterson. Congratulations, John. This year's winner of the Diversified Agriculture Production Proficiency Award is Garrett Girk from the South Central FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Volgamore Family Farms. Garrett works at Wilbanks Ranch, which consists of over 15,000 acres of grains and forages and more than 2,000 head of cattle. He assists with nearly every part of the operation, from planting and swathing the crops to feeding and vaccinating the cattle. During his time on the ranch, Garrett has improved his skills with machines and grown his passion for the beef industry. In the future, he would like to own and manage his own veterinary clinic. Garrett is the son of Logan and Lisa Girk. His advisor is Lacey Jacobs. Great job, Garrett. This year's winner of the Diversified Crop Production Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award is Robert Phillips from the Mission Valley FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Crop Improvement Association. In a partnership with Tap Farms, Robert farms 200 acres, rotating between corn and soybeans. He is responsible for the planting and equipment decisions on his land and operates the farm equipment for both his and his parents' farms. Robert plans to attend Flint Hills Technical College to receive his welding certificate. Robert is the son of Tom and Amy Phillips. His advisors are John Bergen and Kelly Holting. Great job, Robert. This year's winner of the Diversified Crop Production Placement Award is Joseph Reichert from the Payola FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Corn Commission. For his SAE, Joseph works on his family farm, helping grow corn, soybeans, and wheat. Over time, he started taking on more responsibilities, including running machinery, assisting with planting, and spreading fertilizer and chemicals. He has also learned business and personal relations skills and has set his sights on making his SAE a long-term operation. Joseph plans to attend Fort Scott Community College to earn a degree in farm and ranch management. Joseph is the son of Jared and Lisa Reichert. His advisors are John Menifee and Randy Ernest. Let's give Joseph a round of applause. This year's winner of the Diversified Horticulture Proficiency Award is Carly Stapleford from the Marion FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Hummert International. Carly works at Aunt Bee's, a local flower shop. She cares for the greenhouse plants, designs floral arrangements for the shop, and assists customers with their needs. Carly's SAE has taught her to manage her time, assume more responsibility in her work, and develop her communication skills. In the future, she hopes to pursue a career as an agriculture business consultant. Carly is the daughter of Alan Stapleford and Marie Clark. Her advisor is Mark Meyer. Way to go, Carly.
This year's winner of the Diversified Livestock Production Proficiency Award is Chad Hibden from the Central Heights FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by JC Livestock, Clay Center Livestock, and the Langvart family. Chad raises a commercial cow herd and ewe flock. He also works for Valleybrook Farms and Bartlett Farms. While working on both commercial farms, Chad has been able to grow his own livestock operation. This has led to him keeping better records and learning more about livestock management and successful business operation. After high school, Chad plans to obtain a degree in agribusiness and pursue a career in the animal agriculture industry. Chad is the son of Darren and Julie Hibden. His advisors are Aaron Cubitt and Nathaniel McGee. Great job, Chad. This year's winner of the Environmental Science and Natural Resource Management Proficiency Award is Mateo Lisk from the Mission Valley FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Midwest Ford Dealers. Mateo works at Crooked Post Ranch, an operation dedicated to improving the land quality in the area. Working under the head ranch hand, he assists with mixing pesticide formulas, maintaining ranch equipment, and spraying noxious weeds. Mateo's work on the ranch has taught him the value of patience, attention to detail, and a strong work ethic. After high school, Mateo plans to attend Kansas State University to obtain a degree in mechanical engineering. Mateo is the son of Timothy and Jennifer Lisk. His advisors are John Bergen and Kelly Holting. Congratulations, Mateo. This year's winner of the Equine Science Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award is Victoria Zabakritsky from the Washington County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by United Mosquito and Fly Control. Victoria's SAE involves training horses for work, rodeo, and horsemanship competitions. Along with caring for her own horses, she also helps teach young 4-H members proper care and training. These opportunities have encouraged Victoria to participate in the state fair, state horse judging, and attend horsemanship clinics to keep growing her knowledge. She hopes to continue learning new training techniques to help herself and those she teaches. Victoria is the daughter of Travis and Jackie Sabakritsky. Her advisor is John Kern. Awesome job, Victoria. This year's winner of the Equine Science Placement Proficiency Award is Alyssa Leslie from the Inman FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Doug and Jana Zillinger. Working on her family farm, Alyssa cares for, trains, and shows her family's 11 horses. Her love of horses from a young age grew to Alyssa wanting to learn about all aspects of the equine industry, connecting with farriers, veterinarians, and trainers to expand her knowledge. Her experiences and relationships in the industry opened up new learning opportunities, as well as potential internships. After high school, Alyssa plans to attend college to pursue a degree in veterinary medicine. Alyssa is the daughter of Garrett Leslie and Tony Woodson. Her advisor is Daniel Knapp. Great job, Alyssa. This year's winner of the Fiber and Oil Crop Production Proficiency Award is Lacey Strickland from the Labette County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Soybean Commission. Lacey works on her family farm in Labette County, which grows wheat, soybeans, and corn. Her responsibilities include operating machinery, collecting soil samples, and helping maintain the farm's finances. Being involved in the FFA, school sports, and the farm has given Lacey a strong work ethic, along with valuable planning skills. After high school, she plans to pursue a college degree in education. Lacey is the daughter of John and Lisa Strickland. Her advisors are Dustin Wiley, Kyles Wallen, and Jeff Falkenstein. Let's give Lacey a round of applause. This year's winner of the Forge Production Proficiency Award is Chance Winters from the Labette County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Forge and Grassland Council. Chance works on his family's hay operation, where he has a hand in every step of the production process. Over the years in his SAE, Chance has taken on more responsibilities and can now independently operate and perform maintenance on the machinery. He has learned proper fertilizer application, business relations skills, and perseverance, 
even when machinery breaks down. Chance hopes to return to the family farm and ranch and help make management decisions in the future. Chance is the son of David and Jennifer Winters. His advisors are Dustin Wiley, Kyle Zwallen, and Jeff Falkenstein. Nice job, Chance. This year's winner of the Forest Management and Products Proficiency Award is Alan Hines from the Tonganoxie FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Forest Service. Alan's SAE involves harvesting trees as well as reforestation efforts. He processes the harvested trees to produce products like firewood and fence posts. To help replace the harvested trees, Alan began growing oak trees from collected acorns. He also conducts his own research into better growing methods and pest management. After high school, Alan plans to attend Kansas State University to pursue a degree in agricultural economics. Alan is the son of Mark and Bobby Hines. His advisor is Shelby Siemens. Congratulations, Alan. This year's winner of the Goat Production Proficiency Award is Michael Wright from the Blue Valley FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Animal Health International. Michael owns a herd of boar goats on his family farm. Starting with seven does, the herd has expanded to 20 production does, one buck, nine yearling does, and five kids. Michael started his SAE performing general labor but has now become the facilities manager and is also responsible for breeding and marketing decisions. To educate others, he has assisted with his district's livestock CDE and helped teach third grade students about animal agriculture. Michael attends Kansas State University, majoring in animal science. Michael is the son of Daniel and Sheila Wright. His advisor is Anthony Meals. Well done, Michael. This year's winner of the Grain Production Placement Proficiency Award is Hallie Wettstein from the Hugoton FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Wheat Commission. Hallie helps operate her family farm, which grows wheat, corn, sunflowers, and grain sorghum. She operates machinery during all work seasons, including the planter, sprayer, and combine, as well as works in the farm's office, assisting with business operations. Hallie has helped improve the business's advertising and learn more about business management and customer relations. After high school, she plans to attend Southern Illinois University to major in agribusiness. Hallie is the daughter of Rustin and Ashley Wettstein. Her advisor is Les McNally. Congratulations, Hallie. This year's winner of the Home and Community Development Proficiency Award is Jessica Brines from the Gerard FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Sites Fundraising. For her SAE, Jessica works with Habitat for Humanity of Crawford County. Starting as a construction volunteer, Jessica's commitment to the organization led to increased responsibilities, including serving on the Construction and Site Selection Committee, delivering presentations on the organization, and helping supervise the annual fundraising dinner. After high school, Jessica plans to obtain a degree in construction management from Pittsburgh State University. Jessica is the daughter of Greg and Missy Brines. Her advisors are Brandon Calloway and Joe Curran. Outstanding, Jessica. This year's winner of the Landscape Management Proficiency Award is Amelia Malsby from the Coffeeville FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Lawrence Landscape. Amelia works for a local landscaping company, helping grow and transplant flowers and deliver them to local businesses and homes. Amelia has learned a lot about floriculture in the process, and by balancing her job with school and the FFA, has improved her time management skills. After high school, Amelia plans to attend Coffeeville Community College. Amelia is the daughter of Greg and Anita Malsby. Her advisors are Lauren Rothrove and Catherine Stallberry. Great job, Amelia. This year's winner of the Outdoor Recreation Proficiency Award is Mary Zimmerman from the Gerard FFA Chapter. 
This award is sponsored by Viveic. Mary works for Hickory Creek Farms, her family's agritourism business. The farm includes a pumpkin patch, hay rides, and a corn maze. Mary's duties include working cattle, hauling hay, and also operating social media to help advertise the farm. Her interactions on the farm have helped develop her communication skills and led her to find other ways to serve her community. After high school, Mary plans to attend college to pursue a degree in physical therapy. Mary is the daughter of Steve and Ruth Zimmerman. Her advisors are Brandon Calloway and Joe Curran. Way to go, Mary. This year's winner of the Poultry Production Proficiency Award is Avery Stalford from the Central Heights FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Tractor Supply Company. Avery raises a flock of laying hens that he uses for egg production. Learning proper care from his family, he expanded his flock over the years and now oversees feeding and watering, egg collection and cleaning, and marketing the eggs to the community. He has successfully established a weekly sale of his eggs to the local feed store and developed a hatching program for replacement pullets. Avery hopes to continue growing his business as he goes through high school. Avery is the son of James and Jessica Stalford. His advisors are Aaron Cubitt and Nathaniel McGee. Congratulations, Avery! This year's winner of the Sheet Production Proficiency Award is Philip Simmons from the Donovan West FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Harris Show Lambs. Philip's SAE consists of maintaining a flock of breeding sheep. Starting out with 11 ewes, he has expanded his operation to over 160 head. Philip has complete ownership of his operation, which has helped him learn to keep careful records and gain first-hand financial planning experience. After high school, he wants to pursue a degree in veterinary medicine. Philip is the son of Keith and Rebecca Simmons. His advisor is Elmer Schmitz. Let's give Philip a round of applause. This year's winner of the Small Animal Production and Care Proficiency Award is Ivy Gatton from the Labette County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Animal Health Center of Marion County. Ivy operates O-Rats, a feeder rat supply business. She has greatly increased her business over time in the FFA and now supplies rodents to local pet stores and pet owners. Ivy has done research and work in breeding to increase variety and has learned to market her business to buyers in the area. After high school, she plans to pursue an education in nursing or veterinary medicine. Ivy is the daughter of John and Angela Gatton. Her advisors are Dustin Wiley, Kyle Zwallen, and Jeff Falkenstein. Congratulations, Ivy! This year's winner of the Specialty Animal Production Proficiency Award is Bronte Weisner from the Labette County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Prairie School Farms. Bronte raises bees, a project she started with her mother on the family farm. Starting with one hive of 10,000 bees, Bronte's operation has grown to more than 200,000 bees. She says that trial and error was the best way to work through beekeeping and has helped her learn how to best care for the bees in different situations like changing weather and seasons. After completing high school, Bronte plans to pursue an education in medicine, hoping to become a surgeon. Bronte is the daughter of Devin and Amy Weisner. Her advisors are Dustin Wiley, Kyle Zwallen, and Jeff Falkenstein. Outstanding job, Bronte! This year's winner of the Specialty Crop Production Proficiency Award is Devin Taylor from the Donovan West FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Zanger Management. Devin works for Taylor Seed Farms, his family's farming operation. During planting season, Devin is responsible with filling the planters with seed and making sure the seed is planted at the correct depth. He has gained valuable skills on the farm and traveling to other states for harvesting has taught him the importance of growing conditions and seed selection. 
Devin plans to attend Highland Community College after high school, with plans to return to the family farm to learn more about the business. Devin is the son of Jason and Marla Taylor. His advisor is Elmer Schmitz. Great job, Devin. This year's winner of the Swine Production Entrepreneurship Proficiency Award is Emily Glenn from the Scott City FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Pork Association. Growing up on a hog farm, Emily has always had a connection to the swine industry. But as she started her SAE, she personally invested in her own pigs, learning how to properly care for and breed them. Emily sells her pigs to 4-H and FFA members interested in showmanship and also sells feeder pigs to her family's hog farm. She learned to keep extensive records of her operation and developed a vaccination program to increase her herd's health. Emily plans to attend Garden City Community College and later transfer to Kansas State University. Emily is the daughter of Roger and Tony Glenn. Her advisor is Dale Jessup. Congratulations, Emily. This year's winner of the Swine Production Placement Proficiency Award is Lindsay Anderson from the Chapman FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Kansas Pork Association. Lindsay works on her family's hog operation. Her duties include feeding and watering, vaccinating, and checking the sows for farrowing. Working at the local veterinarian clinic has also allowed her to take on more duties on the farm, such as managing nutrition for the hogs. Lindsay says working on the farm has taught her time management skills and patience when things don't go according to plan. Lindsay plans to attend Kansas State University to pursue a degree in architecture. Lindsay is the daughter of Rodney and Tammy Anderson. Her advisors are Johanna Reichert and Alex Jost. Way to go, Lindsay! This year's winner of the Turf Grass Management Proficiency Award is Grace Otot from the Washington County FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by Sod Shop Incorporated. Grace co-owns a yard maintenance and landscaping business with her sister, offering mowing, weeding, and leaf raking. Originally in charge of labor, Grace has taken on management responsibilities, working directly with customers and marketing her services. High demand has helped her prioritize her schedule and learn flexibility. She hopes to continue with her business to build her experience and save money for college. Grace is the daughter of Jeff and Nancy Otop. Her advisor is John Kern. Congratulations, Grace. This year's winner of the Vegetable Production Proficiency Award is Abigail Lowe from the Wellington FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the From the Land of Kansas program. Abigail works at Phipps Farms, where she assists in planting, growing, and selling the vegetables. She has learned the importance of timing and consistency in vegetable production, and has assumed more responsibilities on the farm, including fertilization, proper irrigation, and advertising for the business. Her hard work has allowed her to become an assistant manager, and she now supervises others on proper procedures. Abigail plans to continue her work to keep producing high-quality produce for people in her community. Abigail is the daughter of Kevin and Jamie Lowe. Her advisor is Linda Chase. Great job, Abigail. This year's winner of the Veterinary Science Proficiency Award is Michaela Musselman from the Clay Center FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Veterinary Medicine Association. Michaela's desire to learn more about animal systems led to her finding a job at her local veterinary clinic. Beyond her day-to-day -day responsibilities, the veterinarian allows her to assist in medical procedures and gain first-hand experience. Now working as a pharmacy technician for the K-State College of Veterinary Medicine, Michaela has improved her communication skills while learning more about medicine and animal systems. She currently attends Kansas State University, majoring in animal science. Michaela is the daughter of Michael and Melanie Musselman. Her advisors are Andrea Mattis and Joseph Oderman. Way to go, Michaela.
This year's winner of the Wildlife Management Proficiency Award is Tanner Walker from the Mission Valley FFA Chapter. This award is sponsored by the Kansas Chapter of the National Wild Turkey Federation. Tanner works for his family business, Walker Game Birds and Hunting Preserve. He assists in raising pheasant, chucker, and quail, and helps guide hunters over 460 acres of land dedicated to hunting. Tanner assists with multiple parts of the business, from setting eggs and incubators to preparing flight pens for new birds. Tanner plans to attend college and hopes to return to take over the family business. Tanner is the son of James and Kimberly Walker. His advisors are John Bergen and Kelly Holting. Let's give Tanner a round of applause.